Welcome to segment four and our final segment in this week two edition of the NFL Pick'em. Technically America's Game of the Week, but because that's Fox. Green Bay against the Jets. As Jets last week, coming off a very impressive win, a very good win for them as they got uh, some momentum going on their side this week as Geno Smith, I thought, looked pretty well in his uh, first week of the year. Looked like he improved off the, in the offseason. Chris Johnson looked all right in his first game as a Jet. And then we go to the Packers here. Don't who, forget about Eric Decker. Yeah, Eric Decker, well, he looked pretty good in his first game as, as, in a New York Jets jersey. And then we had two Green Bay who got a little disappointed last week as they got dominated pretty much by the Seattle Seahawks. Aaron Rodgers just didn't look like, look like he knew what to do in that one. Lacey, he got hurt in that game. Uh, tech, it hurt the team as well in that one. Defense just hurt your fantasy team too. Yeah, yeah. I'm still got to win, so I guess you know, we'll see how it goes. Oh, well, oh, push your yeah. Brag about it, White. I got to win, yeah. <laughs> but uh, in this one, it is in Green Bay, and I believe that's going to give the Packers the advantage. Aaron Rodgers is going to come back in this one. I believe playing very, very well. It's very rare that the Green Bay Packers lose two games in a row with Aaron Rodgers under the helm. And I don't believe it's going to happen here, as I believe the Green Bay is going to win this one at home over the Jets, 28-17. to The Jets looked good last week, as I thought they would. Uh, Green Bay obviously didn't. But, as most NFL fans know, Green Bay will still win their 8-10 to ball games, oh, yeah. per usual. And this will be one of them. They, they're at Lambeau. No, uh, kind of no way they lose, but there might be. Green Bay wins this one 31-24. to uh, really, really the America's Game of the Week. Denver against Kansas City. Yeah, Kansas City last week just did not look right at all. The entire team over there was just falling apart against Tennessee Titans. Uh, Chiefs, just Alex Smith overall... Did not play a great game. Charles did not play a great game. Bo being out hurts the team at the receiving core. You know, he didn't do that much last year. I still think he could be a big help for the team. And just overall, that team, offense and defense-wise, did not look good. They did a Denver team last week who won against the Colts, who was a very strong team, a team they lost to last year. Got some redemption in that one game, the win over them. Peyton Manning, once again, playing a beautiful like masterpiece game like he usually always does. Love watching the guy play. It's always, you always, I feel like you learn something when you watch him play. That offense looked good. Defense, I believe it was their first time together, so they're going to struggle a little bit in this one. But Denver at home in this one against Kansas City, I'm going to give Denver the win in this one, and actually I'm going to give them a pretty big win in this one. This is my actually biggest win of the week. Denver's going to win this one 35-13. Yeah, well, Kansas City had the best defense in the league for the first eight weeks. Yep. And then their defense struggled. And that's when Seattle's defense took over best team in the league and then some. <laughs> yeah, Kansas City also lost some key defensive players last week as well. So that might hurt them coming this week as well. That's pretty much been um, Andy Reid's downfall is if the defense is is average. Yep, pretty much. That's what, that's what axed him from Philadelphia. And that's what helped him in his first year at Kansas City until game 10. <laughs> Kansas City has been what? 2-7 um, and seven since going 9-0. and oh. hmm. Think about that. 2-7 and seven since going 9-0. and oh. I picked Denver in this one 31-10. Yeah, Roger Payne may have a big game in this one. That's all I want to say. Roger, maybe... Maybe you could see another seven touchdowns performance by him. Who knows? Let's, please let all seven go to Julius. I don't care. I got Peyton Manning. So really, you need to <laughs> give me some points. I'm not going to get to this week. <laughs> Sunday night game. San Francisco against the Bears. Yeah, the Bears last week looked like they had some little trouble as a team that we thought was going to be very, very powerful offensive. Struggled as Jay Cutler, Marshall, and Jeffrey just did not look like they used to. Uh, Fourier also did not look good as well as that offense just got stopped by the Buffalo offense and defense, and they suffered a shocking loss to the Buffalo Bills. 
And this week they'll be against a San Francisco team who got to feel a little bit cocky after last week after pretty much destroying the Cowboys, which uh, I kind of see that one coming a little bit. Mm -hmm. After the first half of three interceptions in the first half off Tony Romo. Turnovers, anyone? Pretty much. <laughs> just handed it over to him. And the offense looked very good last week. I was actually very shocked by how good the San Francisco offense looked after watching the preseason games they had. So... I do believe it's going to be a very close game between these two. Two very good uh, offenses. Defense has got to go on the side of San Francisco. And San Francisco having their home opener at their new stadium, Levi Stadium. I'm going to give this one to San Francisco, but in a close game on this one, 27-23. to I also picked San Francisco in this one. Um... Yeah, two, I watched the opening kickoff of San Francisco and... Dallas and two plays into the game, Romo throws a pick six, and it's like, "Welcome to NFL 2014, Cowboys." <laughs> <laughs> San Francisco dominated that one, and I have a feeling they will pretty much dominate this one too against Chicago. Their home opener at Levi Stadium, which will host the Super Bowl in two years, I think. Yep, two years. Two Super Bowl Fifty, I believe it will be. Okay, uh, and San Francisco will win this one, twenty-four to fourteen. And your Monday night game, the Colts against the Eagles. Yeah, the Eagles coming in this week had a downfall in the first half against the Jaguars where their offense looked horrible and falls. I don't know, he, he had a very, very bad first half, having, I believe it was three turnovers in the first half. And overall, turnovers, anyone? And overall, last year he only had four turnovers, so that was a very big shocker to me, and that's what taped the Jags ahead in that game. Second half, the Eagles woke up in the passing game, woke up for Foles as he did a great job in the air. And Sproles, who was a new addition to this team this year, had a very, very good game as well. And then you have a Colts team who went against Denver last week, a very good team, a Denver team, and could not come up with the win, just coming off short by one touchdown. Uh, a very close game, I believe, is going to be this one, but a very high-scoring game. Two very powerful offenses and two uh, average defenses. But Indy is at home in this one, and I believe they're going to get the win 35-31. to 31. You read my mind. <laughs> Indy is never out of any game. No. Whether they're playing the... Whether they're playing the Avengers, <laughs> they will, they, they, they'd come back in the second half. Yeah, they, would they would find a way. They would find a way. I mean... Captain America could throw a pass to Wonder Woman and, they, and they'd and they score 28 points in the first half and still Indy would find a way to come back. <laughs> That's been the nature of the Colts since Andrew Luck has stepped foot in that place. Well, they said 10 comebacks in his entire career so mm -hmm. far and that's second in the NFL. The comeback kid, Andrew Luck. I think Indy wins this one 30, also 35-31. to 31. Uh, Indy is also a very pesky team. Guess who, who, who did they beat at home last year? Seattle. Miami. I think they beat another. Denver. Denver. So they beat three good teams at home. So Lucas Oil Stadium is not a place where you would want to play if, you're, if, you're at a, if your say, team is not I the say Colts. give it a couple years and let them build their defense a little bit. I believe Colts will, be one of the top, will probably be the top team in the NFL. Just got to give them some time to build that defense, I believe. Mm -hmm. They're really a Super Bowl sleeper. Oh, yeah. it could be. Every year, every year they they, they're a Super Bowl team. They just got to get that defense yeah. built. When they have a quarterback, they're yes, a Super Bowl contender. Yes, we've seen enough Peyton Manning. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, we remember the 2-14 year. Yeah, Peyton Manning. <laughs> when they didn't have a quarterback. 35-31, Indy wins this one. So, that does it for our Week 2 NFL show. We hope to see you again next week for Week 3. NFL is is now back. Woo! Deuces. <laughs>